Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video day, and today the Phoenix Suns have signed six foot ten big man Mason Plumley to a one year deal, most likely to be the Drew Eubanks replacement. Drew Eubanks declined his player option to enter unrestricted free agency, and so with Drew Eubanks being a free agent after having a solid season with, season with Phoenix, obviously they have Yusuf Nurkic. I think this. Obviously, probably makes Mason Plumlee the backup center for the Phoenix Suns, of course. And then, most likely, I think you'll see Drew Eubanks sign with a different team this offseason. Mason Plumlee played 46 games for the Los Angeles Clippers last season. And in 46 games with 11 starts, he averaged 15 minutes per game. His field goal percentage was 57%. He... Average 5.3 points per game, 5.1 rebounds per game, 1.2 assists per game, and he averaged a half a block per game. Last year, th this past season wasn't his first year with the Clippers. Last year in the 22-23 season, he did play 23 games with four starts, was traded there from Charlotte where he'd played 56 games with 56 starts with Charlotte. So in total this season was Charlotte and L.A., in the 2022-23 season, he played 79 games, 60 starts, 26 minutes per game, with a field goal percentage of 68%. And also, he averaged 10.8 points per game, 9 rebounds per game, 3 assists per game, 1 steal per game, and nearly 1 block per game. His best season... Probably probably is that season, the 2022-23 season. He was averaging 12 and 10 with Charlotte before he got traded to the Clippers and then averaged 7.5 and, and 7 when he got traded to the Clippers. So uh, that's probably his best season right there. Um, yeah, that, that is his best season. Maybe you could argue 2020-21 season with Detroit was a really solid year uh, where he averaged... 10.4 points per game with nine rebounds per game, one block per game, one assist per game. Sorry, one uh, steal per game, four assists per game, which is one of the highest seasons with assists he's ever had. Detroit was a really solid year from the 2021 season, but I think last year in the 22-23 season, season was probably his best year. Now we'll see how he does with Phoenix being the backup for Yusuf Nurkic. Let me know your thoughts on the signing in the comment section, and peace out.